What up dudes, how's it going? I am back with another video teaching you guys how to not make millions of dollars in GTA Online. With this glitch, you'll make 3.5 trillion dollars in 3 seconds. Maybe not that much. Uh, more like 4 million in an hour? Um, most people that say you make a billion an hour, they're lying. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Um, so, first off, glitches. Don't do them. Glitches are for bitches. And uh, if you do glitches and you get banned... It's not my fault, uh, you know, don't send me a message, you're a cheater, go fucking, you're a cheater, I hate you. Um, but yeah, if you want to make some money, follow these steps. First off, you want to start in single player, and you want to go to online, and you want to start a closed friend session. And what that does is it makes it so no one's in your lobby. It's pretty simple, and it also starts a fresh lobby for this glitch to work. And uh, yeah, there's a couple things you need. Okay, uh, one thing you need is you need this apartment. So this apartment is really expensive, but if you buy it, you'll make your money back. Promise you. Here it is on the map. Do a little circle around. There you go. Another thing you need is you need a full garage. You need a car that you want to replace. Just an expendable car. doesn't really matter. And you need an expensive car that you want to sell. I've got this adder. It sells for a lot, and you get a lot of money out of it. So... Another thing you need is you need a stretch limo. You can buy that in the San Andreas Autos thing, I guess. Some a jigger thing, my bobber. And next thing you want to do is you want to call in the stretch limo. You want to get in a car and make sure the car is wanted by Simeon because that just makes things so much easier. Like, look at that two star. Like, I didn't do shit. Thanks, game. Thanks. So you get in your uh, limo and you drive back to the uh, drive back to the garage and you escape the cops, which I didn't which is kind of stupid, but you want to run the car into the garage door so it gets stuck. Just put the car right next to the garage door, you know, just, you know, right into it so it kind of gets stuck. You'll show up in your garage, you want to get in your car that you want to sell, and your car will show up in a weird spot. And what you want to do is you want to get out and make sure it doesn't have a tracker. To make sure that it doesn't have a tracker, get out and look on the minimap, and if you don't see a car icon, you're good. And what I usually do is I buy my insurance back because essentially... The car is destroyed right now, but it's still here. It's a little confusing, so I just buy the insurance as fast as possible, and I try to crash it a little bit. I don't show it there, but you crash a little bit to make it sell a little bit easier. And once you get to the mod shop, you want to uh, just go and buy a Karen Rebel, and what the glitch does is it, is it kind of makes the game think that you're selling the Rebel, but you're not. You want to, you know replace a car there and this is something I do I'm not sure if you have to do it exactly the same way but I kinda went in a little bit too far but you just need to put your front wheels in the garage and uh, you wanna call the mechanic and tell him to bring the rebel and right when you hit A um, just kinda give it a second to register and then go in so you don't have to go in immediately just kinda wait for it to register first thing you wanna do is you wanna hit sell and see how much you're gonna make for it and then don't sell just yet. Wait until the bottom right hand corner has this little swirly thing, kind of like the loading sign, and then you sell it. See right there? Sold it. Sold it for $622,000. Not too bad. This thing isn't upgraded because I'm on a secondary character. Just in case I get banned, you know, I guess. I don't know if it helps, but there you go. Um, I'm going to put the money in the bank. And that's about it. That's the glitch. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to, uh, or at least how I, uh, repeat the glitch. So what I do is I actually buy a random car. I just buy the, uh, the Bifta actually right here. And it fills the spot of where the Karen Rebel was. And it's a little confusing, but yeah, it, it, it just works out. It makes it so your garage is full, you exit online, and uh, once you get back into single player, you want to run into this door and slam your head on the table, and then <laughs> you want to... And then, and then you want to go back into online and uh, just do it all over again. Go into close friend session. And it, it only works if you do that for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it just only works that way. You want to go back out, start all over again. And if you do that uh, correctly, do everything fast enough, it should work, okay? If you don't do it fast enough, sometimes it will sell for like only 100000 But uh just keep practicing and you'll get get it faster you know and just do it faster and you'll eventually get it to sell for a good amount but uh, that's about it thanks for watching um, as I said I recommend you don't do this if you want to keep playing GTA online 
As for me, since I'm probably going to make a video of this, I'm probably going to get banned. So, whoops. So, uh, yeah, that, that sucks. I, I guess I'll see you guys later. Never going to play this game again. I'm getting banned. Later. Later.